Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel and welcome into my continuation through Kevin Smith's View Askew Universe. Today is the second movie in the franchise. I'm watching Mallrats from 1995 and I am so looking forward to this because I loved Clerks. If you have not yet watched that reaction, please click up here to check it out. The link is also in the description. Clerks hit all the right boxes for me. It was hilarious. The dialogue was super fun and it was super heavy with dialogue. The filming style was fun. The characters were fun. It was just, it was a great movie. It exceeded any expectations that I had set internally, subconsciously for myself. And because of how much I enjoyed it, I kind of decided that I would try and watch one of the movies once a month moving forward until we're done the franchise. So today is Mallrats. I'll be skipping October just because I have a little bit of, of a vacation in October, which cuts down the amount of reactions I can do. And then I want to focus on like scary and horror movies again in October, like I did last year. So Chasing Amy will come in November and then Dogma will be in December and then so on and so forth until we're done at this little universe. And I'm just, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I do expect that we're going to have some new characters in this movie, but I also expect we're going to follow up with the characters that we met in Clerks. I expect that this is going to take place in a mall, possibly different stores within the mall. Maybe we'll have a scene or two outside of the mall, kind of like what we did with Clerks a little bit where they went to like the funeral. <laughs> Anyway, I am just excited to kick back for 90 minutes and have a good laugh. So with that, thank you for being here. If you would rather watch the full length watch along with me, just bring your own copy of Mallrats over to Patreon and you can get that there. And with that, I'm just excited. Let's press play. One time my cousin Walter got this cat stuck in his ass. I wouldn't expect this movie to start any other way. <laughs> it was embarrassing for my relatives and all. Burning Flesh Tanning Salon, that's a great name. <laughs> Rug Muncher's Carpet Outlet. <laughs> Shannon Doherty, name sounds familiar. I don't know what she's in though. Oh, Ben Affleck is in this, right? Stanley is in this. Okay, so it seems like Dante and Randall aren't in this one, which I won't lie, little disappointing. <laughs> But that's okay. I'm still probably gonna love this anyway. <laughs> I guess if it only takes place in the mall, then that makes sense because we can just naturally assume that they are working at the video store and the convenience store. I think my dad had that exact station wagon back in, yeah, 95, 96. Brandy spinning, come on down. I'm taking your ass to Florida. T.S., did you see Julie Dwyer last night? Yeah, yeah. She was talking about being on your dad's stupid game show. Did you tell her that every time you're on TV, you look 10 pounds heavier? Well, yeah. She went straight up to the YMCA and just started doing laps. In the middle of her 700th lap. 700. Popped in her brain and she dropped dead. She's fucking dead? And it got back to my father and, and he's really pissed at you. Now he doesn't even have a female contestant for his show. Oh, I told him I'd do the show. What? Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. no. We're, we're leaving for Florida. T.S., I'm doing this to get you out of trouble with my father. He's absolutely devastated about Julie. Oh, yeah. Devastated. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay. Sometimes I almost forget that you're such a daddy's girl. It makes me sick. Well, you know what I think sick? This relationship. Oof. I thought we weren't going through this makeup breakup shit anymore. Yeah, well, you can just forget about making up. Oh, they've got the on again, off again thing. You're as thoughtless and self-absorbed as he is. If the two of you have so much in common, I think you should date each other. Ready, wait. She really put her foot down there. <laughs> I love the sound. <laughs> Fucking Christ, would you knock it off? And go back to sleep. Remember when we used to cover our walls with posters like this? Do people still do that? <sighs> no, 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 you promised me breakfast. Look at the score for God's sake. Don't worry, I didn't let your mother see me. I've never met a person who lives in as much fear of his mother as you do. You want I should tell my mother what we do in here at night? What, that you play video games and I fall asleep unfulfilled? <laughs> Poor girl. You've never even introduced me to her. Because you're always in the goddamn bathroom, all right? What the hell do you do in there all the time? This guy seems very invested in this relationship. I cry. You cry. Any particular reason? Well... I think about people that make decisions that affect our lives. The engineer that designs skyscrapers. The guy that maps out a plane's flight path. The navigator. That's a lot of energy to think about that all the time. I think about all that and I cry. Because I have nothing better to do than fuck you. Oof. You're dumping me? Honestly, kind of expected that. You to my mother. 
Partly, probably. She said other reasons, though, my guy. Is this Dante? Oh, no, it's the guy from shit. the first guy we met. On Frere. What was that? Like it, I framed it before you got here. Oh, my God, Renee dumped you. <laughs> he framed it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No college ambition, no job prospect. Yeah, it also says I have no dick. Unlike you, I didn't even get a letter filled with obscure adjectives. I, too, now I'm in the framing business. Randy dumped you. Wait a second, aren't you two supposed to go to Florida? Oh, well, it gets worse. I was going to propose to her. What? Universal tour. You're kidding. What part? When Jaws pops out of the water. <laughs> That's the most romantic thing I've ever Jeez. heard. Let me ask you something. Did you ever fart in front of her? I never farted in front of Renee. Not once. All right. Then last week I let one slip. Today she dumps me. Come on. She's not the shallow type Brody. She was going down on me at the time. Oh. Shut up. What? What can I say? I was feeling very relaxed when I'm relaxed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, no, there is something out there that can help ease our simultaneous double loss. The fucking mall. They got these new cookies at the cookie stand. I miss when malls are fun, so I feel like I'm really going to enjoy the throwback that this movie will provide for me. I feel like the malls peaked in the 90s, maybe the 2000s, but it's just gone downhill from there. And obviously we can blame online shopping for that. Oh, hey, there he is. You want to say something? Yeah, about a million things, but I can't express myself monosyllabically enough for you to understand. Monosyllabic monosyllabically. It's a jerk from Fashionable Mail, this upscale wannabe shop on the second floor. Guy's always giving me shit. You face forward or you face the possibility of shock and damage. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ping. Where the hell did that come from? What's going on here? What is this monstrosity? Maybe it's for the Easter Bunny pictures. Oh, there's a soul who might know what's up. <laughs> is he staring? Why is he staring? Just hanging with T.S. Oh. T.S. Willem Brody. Looking for the hidden picture. Oh, yeah, look, it's a sailboat. You saw it too? Damn it! I've been staring at this thing for a week now, from opening till closing, and I can't see a goddamn thing! And I'm not gonna leave until I see the sailboat everyone keeps talking about. His shirt is so stained. I'm having some game show in the mall today. I think it's gonna be on TV. It's called Truth or Date or something. Oh my god, that's Brandy's father's game show. Would you guys shut up? Breaking my concentration. Gotta leave Willem B. Remember, relax your eyes. Unfocus the eyes. Wow, a sailboat. Shut up. <laughs> now, now she's gonna be auctioned off on live TV from a mall. The mall. Show us some respect. But it doesn't have to go down like that if we trash the thing. The mall meaning the only mall in the area? Or the town, city, wherever they are. Brandy won't be able to do the show. Who is this imaginary hatchet man? Hatchet men. Oh, Hey, there they are. Knock it off! Brody man, Nucci Nucci's! What is he doing? A uh, shithead here watched Empire and Jedi last week and ever since he's been trying to do the Jedi <laughs> march. Force is strong with this one. Mm -hmm. Dude, don't encourage him. What is this shit? Everyone's looking for us today. We're Doc and Trisha because she wants to talk to Obi-Wan here about her video setup. I love the sound effect <laughs> for him doing this. Vibrate into a CD player and use some chicken wire and shit. So we need you to embark on a little sabotage mission on behalf of TS's love life. <laughs> well, we need you guys to somehow ensure that it doesn't happen. We're gonna do that anyway. Sal Bobby stole a schematic of the station, some foolish carpenter. I found a weakness, just like the fucking Death Star. Only problem is LaForce. Who's LaForce? It's only the most feared security guard in the business, man. I love the hat. Shit, bitch, we're gonna bust out that stage like a high school kegger. We're just gonna out with LaForce X-Men style. Should I call you Logan Weapon X? Bye, baby kitties. Damn, Sal Bob, show some heart. I was about to make a comment about the smoking till I remembered that in 1995 you could smoke indoors no problem pretty much anywhere. So I definitely don't miss that. Like I have very strong memories of indoor smoking, but I don't miss it. Can we, Can we do, do it, it, please, please? Oh, All right. They're gonna see it right away. Wow, it's a schooner. <laughs> you dumb bastard! It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, stupid head. <laughs> there is no Easter Bunny. And Santa's not real either. <laughs> Time for cookies. Oh, that's a cute store. I love all the clocks on the wall. Cookie stand is not part of the food court. The cookie stand counts as an eatery. The eateries are part of the food court. Bullshit. Eateries that operate within the designated square downstairs qualify as food court. Anything outside of said designated square I agree with is this. considered an autonomous unit for mid-mall I agree with snacking. this. Holy shit. What? Wait here. That would look terrible on you. 
Can I dump your ass this morning? I know you've had some time to think about the mistake. Oh my gosh. Made, I just want to let you know you don't have to apologize. I'm sure you were just PMSing or something. Wow. But if we're divorced, we're going to have to divide our mutual possessions. Which are what? You have my Punisher War Journal number six, my copy of Fletch, and the remote control to my TV. Look, if I have any of that crap, it's because you brought it over my house and left it there. That seems reasonable for the schedule for visitation rights for the mall i figure you can have the odd days i'll take the even days well that's not how that works i've always taken you with a grain of salt when we were at that hotel prom night and you asked me to sleep underneath the bed in case your mother burst in i did it and even when we were at my grandmother's funeral and you told most of my relatives that you could see her nipples through her burial dress i let it slide bro oh my god that would have been a deal breaker for me actually the sleeping under the bed would have been the deal breaker phase one First, you take a run out of fours, but the sock full of quarters. I do it, but I pull my back out humping your mom last night. Nuge. <laughs> Nuge. <laughs> the motherfucker's rubble. Hence, no game show. Bad motherfucker, Jay. Love it. Oh, no. But some parent conditioned him Daddy, to fear and respect that escalator. Don't have to yell about it. Little Trisha Jones. What's a pretty girl like you doing sitting alone in the middle of this monument to consumerism? Updating my calendar. I'm waiting for Jay and Silent Bob. They call her Trish the Dish. Nobody calls me that. Just Brody. But uh, somehow she's a senior. Trish is compiling data for this book she's writing about the sex drive of men ages 14 to 30. Pendant Publishing gave me 20,000 based on a treatment and a sample wow. chapter. So Trisha here sleeps with a bunch of guys as research. She videotapes all of them. What? I get everybody's consent before we do it. Men are easily amused. She's 15. The smiley face is for when I go down on the guy. The smiley face with lashes is for when the guy goes down on me. How old was last night's subject? 25. It was the guy who runs that store, Fashionable Mail. Holy oh, shit, God. you <laughs> slept with that asshole? Why? Oh no. Quite a distaste for you, I might add. He says he wants to kick your ass. I'd steer clear of him if I were you. Do your parents know about this? Of course. What? I heard you were going to propose to Brandy Svenning in some theme park. When are men going to learn that women want romance? How does that Junior Masters and Johnson know about my proposal? Mm. Sean Hartle's giving everyone the inside scoop. What? What's he saying? You know how her father made her do the game show so he couldn't take her to Florida. Now what the hell is this shit? What do you gotta do to get comics around this place? One hour wait? Is this where we're gonna see Steve? Or Steve, oh my god. Stan. I'll fucking take all you want! Come here, get a There's a little boy across the escalator! <laughs> Why is there a line? Stan Lee signing comics. Stan Lee? Okay, lunchbox, let's try this again. What's the plan now? You jump off and sell like a spitfire, passing right over the arch nemesis the fours. And when that's gone, the stage is trashed and we go smoke a ball. <laughs> you got it? Now get your fat ass up there. And dude. Destruction dance, Operation Dark Knight. <laughs> I love the outfit. That <laughs> guy's still walking around with that thing. <laughs> Good job. Good job, you missed. What the fuck? <laughs> you fucker! Same woman. <laughs> oh, love the placement of that on the poster. <laughs> I must be slipping in my old age. The name amongst names. I knew this game show thing was just a beard for an attempt at breaking us up. I'm talking comics and you bring up chicks and romance? And where the hell are these two going in such a hurry? Oh, 90s mall food courts. So nostalgic. And 90s fast food prices. Is he gone? Halfway to buy me toys by now. We had to take a pass on the stage trashing business, otherwise he's liable to kill himself. Sorry, bro. I know I'd feel it. Isn't that Renee? Oh yeah, she's probably looking for him. I better go talk to her. With Ben Affleck's character. The asshole from Fashionable Mail, son of a bitch. Oh my gosh, look at that Degrassi jacket. That jacket and pants is massive on him, but... 90s was all about baggy clothes. Uh, that's a, a great store you got there. Oh, thanks. Listen, I'm uh, trying to spend my lunch hour with my lady friend here, okay? It should be. Oh, oh that's your girlfriend, right there? But look, if you don't stop gawking at me and get the hell out of here, I'm gonna kick your ass, okay? <laughs> Give me a little secret, okay? The customer's always an asshole. Jesus Christ! Are you insane? The guy looks like a date rapist! How long has this been going on? Since I finally met 
must have the good sense to send you packing. I forgot what real men were like. I can't believe you have the nerve to come to my mall and pick up guys. Oh, no. It's definitely not your mall. When was the last time you pulled out my chair or told me I was beautiful? This guy already introduced me to his mother. There we go. All he did was play Sega and watch videos all night long. Which, by the way, has enormous effect on your libido. Now you attack my libido? Attack. No libido to attack? No. Whoa. All right. Introducing a little excitement. <laughs> it's a crowd gathering for the elevator. <laughs> Man, that was romantic, right? No, Brony, that was too little too late. You said it was a good size. The effort was too little too late. When a girl says it's a good size, it's a nice way of saying that it's small. Hey! Oh, I kind of feel bad for him now. <laughs> hey! He just wanted to give me something that he forgot to give me a long time ago. That he forgot. <laughs> oh, no. She challenged my libido. I felt obligated to defend myself against her accusations. Not like you still wanted her or anything. Not in the least. I'm over her. Mm hmm You really love that girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I never noticed it before, but she really feels your engine. You got this new, like, glow about you. I have a glow. It's the post-sex glow. What is your problem? I don't understand. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Gwen, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even know it was you. <sighs> That's what you get for oh. fucking with me. Oh. Thanks for spending the bubble. Give me the, the, me the podium. Right here. This actor looks familiar, but... Hey, come on, people. Are we working here? What? Get the backdrop ready. Those lights ready to go? Would you... Excuse me. Excuse me. Is this... Not that it's any of your concern, but Brandy agreed to be on to her. Give her a chance to find herself a, a decent guy. So you admit it. You are behind our break. Hell, I'm as proud of it as I am this game show here. Guard, come here. Get this guy off my set. Oh, no. You have my permission <laughs> to castrate him. Get me LaFour's. <laughs> Villain music. <laughs> you know, that's why your relationships fail. Certainly why ours did. So they dated too. I'll never forget it. How many chances do you get to see Smokey fuck the bandit? Didn't I look just like Burt Reynolds? Except for the mustache. <laughs> you know they have a whole room you're supposed to do that in? I was literally thinking that, to be honest. Hey, how much longer are we going to be in this chick store anyway? Just... Also, I won't lie, the shirt she's wearing, the white with the cherries on it, I am nearly confident that I own that exact shirt back in the day. Just the kid's version of it. Although, for all I know, that could be a kid's shirt and she just is wearing it anyway. No, I mean really slept with somebody beside them, not just fuck them on a gaming table. We, uh, we slept together one time, remember, in high school, that ski trip. That was you? Oh no. <laughs> so I was constantly searching for some place to keep my arm while still laying close to her. What do you mean, Anne? That's like a metaphor for our whole relationship. I know exactly how we feel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> oh no. One of these loser fucking mall rat kids. You don't come down here to, to, to work or shop, you hang out all day. Well, I have no respect for people with no shopping agenda. This is what's known as motivated salesmanship. Oh. Lene told me to leave you alone, but she's fucking clueless. Oh, that's mean. I feel like he's just not a good guy in general. I like to pick up girls on the rebound from a disappointing relationship. Of course they're, you do. They're more vulnerable. They're much more needed ah, solace. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we can really hate this guy. Beautiful. And I use that to fuck them someplace. Fairly uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my god, is that Brody? Fucking kidding, the Easter Bunny did this? <laughs> he just jumped the railing and knocked me down. It says no sampling candy. He's just straight up stealing the candy. Shannon Hamilton? You know that guy? Yeah, I went out Shannon. with him after he dated. He tried to screw me some more very uncomfortable one. <laughs> Sounds like his MO. Can you get up? Oh my gosh. This is hitting me in the nostalgia. All the things that malls would set up for Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, wait in line for friggin' ever. Just get your picture taken. This is for Brody. Oh, what? Ah, oh no! He's here. What? Him and Brody. You know, he seems really broken up over this whole thing. Maybe because we're broken up for good this time. Tia's is a great catch. Gwen, you were always cheating on him. Capricious you. All I'm saying is that the really good guys are few and far between. In fact, I haven't met one since T.S. T.S. does seem like a pretty good guy. But you can have him if you want him. Believe me, I might consider trying if you weren't so hung up on you. Chocolate covered pretzel. Oh, I love chocolate covered pretzels. You should go over there and give him shit. Kidding, I'm trying to marry his daughter. All right, so you can't scream at him, but after all he's done to you, you should still kind of stick it to him. You stink, Palm. Take stink your hand, pump? you stick it in your ass like this. Ew. You've been Ew. walking all day Ew. and you're all... <clears throat> there, now you shake hands no. with the guy. Hey, Mr. Svinning, how have you been? Oh. 
there's a bathroom right there. Just go wash your hands. Ew. Please, no. <laughs> no. Well, I hope so, Jared, for your sake. Jared. Public access the rest of your career. <laughs> he is. That is the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I accept the fact that you no doubt fuck my... He's so much... I mean, obviously, he's so much younger. But he actually... He's aged really well. Why am I forgetting the name? Yondu! Oh, my God. I was like, Y-O-G? Y-O-D? I cannot remember the name. Sorry. I try not to go on my phone and look things up during a reaction, but if it bothers me enough, and it has been since we first heard him talk, uh You, on the other hand, have absolutely no ambition and no chance of making it in the real world. That is so harsh. My daughter is too good for you. You will never, ever be with her. <coughs> so, if there isn't anything else, Hey, fellas. Mr. Spinning, how have you... Damn, would you feel that iron grip handshake? Ew. Right? Ew. That is uh, my uh, junior college class ring. Come loud, 69. Uh, I also hope to come loud one day, preferably <laughs> 69. I felt that coming. Zing. Dark cut chocolate. Yeah? No, no, no. Oh, no. come on. No, 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 no please. Oh. Ew. Why? Oh, I knew, I knew it. I knew he was going to start licking. Oh, my God. I have something to offer the both of you. <laughs> decided to set up this little ambush. Hey! You can't set up off! Please! Look, I have to go to the bathroom. Wait here, okay? I'll tell you what you need is a... <laughs> is he still standing here? <laughs> look at me, look at me, you sloppy bitch! And he's still trying to move the cigarette with the force. Security guards... Under arrest, they need help. Go! Wow, a sailboat. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Kneel before sun! <laughs> Snitchy boochies. Walking <laughs> earth pinch? Oh, thank you, thank you, man. We owe you one. You want to hide? Place. Whatever, let's just go! Don't I even get to wash my hand first? Right, that makes sense why he didn't wash his hands when he first... I didn't realize he was going to be the one to actually go and do that with him. I like how much more involved these guys are in this movie compared to Clerks. In Clerks, they were kind of just there and they talked, like, once in a while, but they're, like, main characters in this one. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, we're fucked! You're right behind us! I was not expecting that. <laughs> Nice. Yeah! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Where do you get those wonderful toys? Aww. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> This is where we're hiding out. And yeah, this is the dirt. Oh, I love the clerk's hat. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> you know what you need? Some sage-like advice. You've given me enough for one day, thanks. Not from me, from Ivana. 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 Topless psychic. All right. What does palm reading have to do with being topless? Oh, man, it makes the news easier to take. She could tell me I was going to die in 10 minutes so long as she told me topless. Your maleness amazes me sometimes. Your maleness. I, say? I love tits. <laughs> I've already reached my lowest today. This is where I draw the line. Hey, I love tits as much as the next guy, but why would I want to pay some old hag good money for some supernatural chicanery coupled with sagging, wrinkled, weathered boobs? Watch, it's going to be... Oh, maybe not. I was about to say, watch, it's going to be a super young woman that's like around their age doing it. You give me $58. 60 cent. That's expensive. Especially for the 90s. All right, gentlemen, free your mind. I'd like to freeze something. Focus. That's what I was thinking. She said focus. Whatever. <laughs> I was thinking that it sounded like she said fuck us. <laughs> a difficulty in effecting a resolution, something hard. I'm convinced she's got the gift. I appreciate the effort, and I'm sure you're very good at well, whatever it is you do. You paid. I should tell you something. I have to work completely. <sighs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can definitely sense the problem here. <laughs> Girl trouble. Wow, we're getting like nipple covering the whole screen. Well, nipples, I should say. That's disgusting. That's why TS is the better man right there. But only one of you makes the vocal. The other one suffers silently. God, you're right. <laughs> gotta go. how, how can this be resolved? Combine your efforts. That's what I see. She reminds me of 
the one girl in Mean Girls. It's 68 degrees and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. Why are you stuck here in this dirt mall? I mean, how come you're not in some larger upscale commercial setting? You could be raking in the dough with your kind of accuracy. <laughs> some people still frown on top of fortune telling. And unfortunately, it's the only way that I'm effective. Well, it's third, third nipple, nipple, yeah. Does it. Oh, you have a third nipple? What are you talking about? It's as clear as day. He's just being polite. Oh, oh no. After confrontation. She's going to get right up close to them. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how informative you've been. Don't ever lose that nipple. I love how he was so against this. And he's the one walking out of here like, this is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any other extra body parts? No. Bruh. You can double check me if you like. Really? Really. Come on! Thanks, TS. <laughs> Works every time. Ew. <laughs> so it was just pepperoni? Looks like it. I'm gonna get on our father's game show. Are you kidding me? Last time we were here, spinning had dough planted on us. Can't touch us once the thing starts. It's a live feed. Well, he could. Meet me by the stage once the show starts. I'm gonna need your help. What the hell am I supposed to do? Whatever you want. <gasps> I've been looking all over for you two. We're hiding. In a bookstore? Last place they went to go for me in this tubby book. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reasoning. <laughs> Looking at that couple inside. Actually, I was just looking at. Please pay attention. Please look at him. If he misses that this is Stanley, oh my god. The couple, they look happy. I guess as far as couples go. Okay, he's looking at him. Reminds me of an issue of Spider-Man I did. Oh, here we go. Please. Of course, the Green Goblin showed up, and he pumpkin bombed the hell out of the place. All right, here we go. Holy shit, Stanley! Hi. Aww. <laughs> I was really hoping that he would realize because that would have sucked if he had had a whole conversation with him and then realized after the fact that it was Stan Lee. You're responsible for the greats, Spider-Man. Guilty. The Incredible Hulk. Afraid so. You are a god. Do you have a girlfriend, Brody? Aw. We just broke up. Is this dork made of orange rock like the rest of his body? <laughs> it's a superhero secret. Tell me, Brody. <laughs> Stan's like, I don't want to talk about my superhero private parts. <laughs> Said I was too into my own world of comics and all. I had a girl. She always complained that I spent too much time with my own comics. And then I found a woman that supported me in my hobby. <laughs> Probably had a slew of women since her, am I right? Lots of women, but I never forgot that girl. Well, did you ever get back together with her? One day I found out she got married. Went on with my life. I created some special new superheroes. They were characters that reflected my own heartbreak. And Aww. The Hulk, a normal guy one minute, rage of emotions the next. Just like me when I thought about what I'd given up. I love that I'm watching this after watching so much of the MCU for the first time. Don't wait, because all the money, all the women, even all the comic books in the world, they can't substitute for that one person. Good talking to you. You keep reading them. I'll keep writing them. Aww. She really meant that much to you? I'd give it all up. It just... One more day. Oh, I want to believe that all that is true and not just like a script for this movie. That was my favorite scene. Hey, you know, I think he bought it. What kind of oh. story did you give him? Oh, it was the vulture soliloquy, you know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I can't think of you enough, Mr. Oh, Lee. forget it. I think you ought to get him some help. He seems to be really hung up on superhero sex organs. Yeah, <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Not me taking the scene so seriously, but that was my favorite so far in this movie. It probably will be my favorite scene in the whole movie. It was really sweet. You still got that stage schematic? I need you to wire something together for me. Jesus, what's with him? Well, I don't know him. Suddenly not feeling too well. Gee, I wonder why. I have wound <laughs> This guy up. holding a puke bag for him. Jesus. Oh. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Shouldn't you be in bed or something? In the bathroom, at least. What happened there? How much did you smoke? All it took was a fat chronic oh. <laughs> blunt. I feel like I would die if I ever smoked a blunt. All right, I'm ready. What the hell happened to these two? Power of the dark side. Power of the blunt side. Supposed to be three. What happened to the third guy? I never saw a third guy. Hey, who's this asshole? What the hell happened to those guys? Hey! Oh my god, look at him! Hi, Dante! I'm Gil Hicks, suitor number three. Oh, oh maybe he's just playing a different character. I gotta not associate the faces with the characters from previous things, I think. Just go out there and woo like you're supposed to and nobody gets hurt. When Trisha shows up here with the videotape, you get it to Silent Bob, understand? I'm on it. Wait a sec, where is that tubby bitch? <laughs> I love Silent Bob so much. Wow, this is fancy for a mall, but at the same time, I mean, this stuff happened. They used to have concerts in malls. The Suitor! <laughs> 
Say hi to Doug Paging. Say hi to Rob Feature. A nice welcome for Gil Hicks. Pay attention, Dick. Our lovely suitorette will ask a series of questions of our suitors. I loved watching these kind of game shows back in the day. If you were a car, what kind of car would you be? The kind you never dump your boyfriend in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If we were making whoopee. What's whoopee? Being intimate. What, like fucking? <laughs> Swearing on live television. You know, well, what what kind of noises would you make? What kind of question is that? Uh, 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 I, I think that's kind of personal. I don't think I should answer that. <laughs> what would our first date be like? First, I'd take you shopping to the stores you'd want to shop in. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's going to love this. And then I'd follow it all up with a drive to a secluded beach, and then we could slow dance till the sun came up. That was the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. I mean, look at you. You're the kind of guy that would beg for sex. And I should know. We can smell our own. <laughs> <laughs> How would you propose to me? Oh, Josh well. Josh out of the water. Excuse me? I propose that you stop letting your father run your life and you be true to yourself and not give up on somebody you know has value. Suitor number two, you have to wait until you're addressed before you respond. Richard Dawson, just go back to your podium and... <laughs> I miss Richard Dawson. Uh, Brody told me to give this to you. Are you what is this? this shit, man? It's fucked up. I don't think I want to be here when that tape does what I think it's going to do. Miss Suterette, how about you answer a question for me? Um, oh, I, I don't think that's... I like how she doesn't recognize his voice. Snoochie boochies! Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> Were you ever in love? Yes, as a matter of fact. Oh, really? What happened to your boyfriend? We broke up. It, it just didn't work out. Why? T.S., would you ever make Whoopi in public? Already did once today. Oh, <laughs> Plane to New Mexico when all of a sudden the hydraulics went. She's over this. If you were a comic book character, what character would you be? Tough one, though. I mean, what does one gauge his response on? It's a hard question to answer. Comic book collection, Brody. Oh, it's going good, but I've been. Oh, <laughs> comics? What are you talking about, lady? I don't collect <laughs> comics. Comics are for kids. Suitor number one, you. You just don't know when to quit, do you? No. But I thought that I had a partner. My father needed a contestant for his show, T.S. What was I supposed to do? Show a little backbone. <laughs> what did you do? You just ran off and cried on the shoulder of Bumble the Boy Wonder over there. I'm all man, lady. I've been crying all day. Well, he just goes on with his life. You put yourself on an auction block, for God's sake, in front of a live studio audience. Hey, do I get a chance to field any more questions? <laughs> No. Probably not. <laughs> Look, Suitor number one here has done nothing but pine over you all day, trying to figure out a way to win you back. Face the odds to get up here and give it his best shot. I'm tired of this whole thing. You're now, why don't you forget about the shit that happened and do what you're supposed to? <laughs> Suitor number one loves you. He's only got one question that he'd like to ask. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Aww. He's gonna throw up again. <laughs> Are we set or what? Good to go. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, a sailboat. <laughs> Aww. Someone needs to just like outline where the sailboat is for him. <laughs> Soon be winging their way to beautiful sunny Florida. Oh, well, they're planning on going there anyway. I could never in my life make out like that in public, especially with all these eyes on me. No thanks. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Yeah, what's that? Not you, asshole. <laughs> the girl. You have my heart. What can I say? You're dead, mall rat. I am gonna fuck you up beyond repair. Get it. Get it. Use the force. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope this works. It probably won't. Oh, he'll just, he'll just do it. I'd like to present you all with an accurate portrayal of the proprietor of fashionable mail. Now, 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 now. Nice. <laughs> Who's your favorite new kid? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, call me Donnie. She looks bored AF. That girl's only 15. <sighs> and she was 36. 36? Tell me you wouldn't have bothered. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. You 
know where you're going. Uh, they screw people in a very uncomfortable place. Hey, hey, hey. You can't strike a prisoner in police custody. Just once. All right, but make it fast. <laughs> Tape was out of reach. How the hell did you get it? The Force, man. The Jedi mind trick. <laughs> Holy shit, motherfucking Yoda and shit. Adventure, excitement. Jedi craves not these things. Oh, I wish he talked more. I love his voice. <laughs> it's just very pleasant to the ears, in my opinion. But he's Silent Bob for a reason, so I just gotta be okay with that. You guys gonna make up too? Would you like to come over to my house for dinner and meet my mother? Progress. I, mean, I can't guarantee you she's gonna like you, but. Yay. The only thing that saved it was this guy here. Hi, I'm oh. Bentley Garrison. With me and Mason here, thought you were hysterical. <laughs> Larry, you got great presence, kid. Took over hosting duties on The Tonight Show. The hair, I am not a fan. Still is with his parents, of course. Renee became Brody's band leader. Fun. Was well liked by his mom. Good. Oh, look at this. Tied the knot after graduation. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Trisha's book spent a record 72 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. The movie will be out this Christmas. And she's with LaFors. Shannon made a lot of new friends. Mm -hmm. Willem eventually saw the sailboat. <laughs> If you enjoyed that reaction, please let me know by clicking that like button down below. And if you don't want to miss any future reactions of mine, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I just finished editing the reaction that you just watched, and this was another very solid entry in the Viewisk universe. I will admit that right now, I do enjoy Clerks more, but Mallrats, I have nothing bad to say about it. I actually really enjoy that there was a story to this. Clerks was definitely a day in the life type of movie where there wasn't like a beginning and an ending to a story. We're just following these guys in the day in their life of working at the video store and the convenience store. But Mallrats actually had a story. We were focusing on this breakup and trying to, I don't know, have some kind of resolution for that, which we did. It's awesome because it was still very day in the lifey, but there was still a story there, something to like carry us through the movie. Once again, I love the humor in this movie, but I definitely prefer the humor and I laughed more, I think, in Clerks. This happened for me a lot in Clerks too, but in Mall Rats even more so just because of the setting being a mall. Took me right back felt so much nostalgia during this movie. I will admit that I was paying a lot of attention to the background of things, looking at the shops, looking at just the general mall layout and the colors and the setting and everything, because I just, I miss 90s malls. <laughs> TS was a super fun character. Brody reminded me so much of one of my friends from high school, just the way that the line delivery was and the things that he said, and even his physical appearance just a little bit definitely kind of threw me back to my high school days and just made me think of that particular friend. <laughs> the ladies were all wonderful and fantastic. Michael Rooker as the dad and the guy responsible for this dating game show in the mall. I think that I'm spoiled by Guardians of the Galaxy because if Michael Rooker isn't anything that I see moving forward, I feel like I'm only gonna hear and see Yondu. And especially in Mallrats, it didn't help that he was playing an antagonist type of character, but this movie also made me realize his age because when he played Yondu in the Guardians movies, I did not think the man was that old. And then he shows up in this, and this movie was almost 30 goddamn years ago. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, well, you're middle-aged here. <laughs> so how old are you? <laughs> Anyway, Michael Rooker looks great for his age. He, his performance was fantastic. I enjoyed it, even though I did not like his character at all. One of the biggest highlights of this movie for me was actually Jay and Silent Bob. I really, really liked how much more they were in this movie compared to Clerks. And it has me really, really looking forward to the actual Jay and Silent Bob movies that are coming up in this view -esque universe. So I'm just looking forward to more of them. I really, really enjoyed both of them in this movie. They were fantastic. Okay, so Stan Lee, I truly was not expecting him to actually have like a scene where we sat with it for a while. I was expecting him to pop up for like 15, 20, 30 seconds. It was gonna be a quippy, hilarious scene and then away he was. I was not expecting like a full on scene and conversation with him. And it wasn't even just one scene, it was three technically, which was amazing. That was definitely the highlight of this movie for me, but I do acknowledge my bias with that because of the fact that I've been watching and reacting to the MCU stuff for the channel for almost an entire year. So of course, seeing a scene like that is going to just make my day and be the highlight of this movie for me, right? 
And it reminds me how us reactors, when we sit here and we watch these movies for you all and make these videos, right? There's so much that influences how we will interpret or feel or react about a certain scene, right? Like someone that has never read the comics has never watched an MCU movie in their life. They're gonna watch that scene with Stanley and kind of just go, okay, cool. But it's not gonna mean anything for them. Whereas for me, seeing that scene like meant everything and was the highlight for me, right? So just something for like y'all viewers to think about when you're watching reactions of different reactors, different channels, different movies, right? We're all gonna have different minds and senses of humor and our personalities to the reaction. But I think that's also what makes watching reactions a ton of fun, right? Anyway, overall, this was super fun, super solid film. I'm very excited to continue on in this view universe. And let's go check Letterboxd now. I'm really excited to read what some other people have to say. First up is a three star review by Matt who says, it's true, all of it. People used to go to the mall and not even to shop. You just went, walked around, had a cookie, maybe sabotage a live TV dating show. The 90s were fucking weird. I will just say that that continued into the 2000s. I was a teenager in the 2000s and we would go to the mall all the time. We didn't have money to buy anything with, but we would go to the CD store and just browse the posters and the CDs and the t-shirts not buy anything. We maybe had like $2 for a Slurpee in a magazine because yes, $2 could actually buy that back then. <laughs> but it was just something to do that was indoors, especially during Canadian winters. We really didn't want to be outside all the time. So the mall was the place to go. It was the place that we met up with our friends before we could text them, before we could, you know, Next up is a three star review by Lachlan who says Kevin Smith is a director that I will always like. His work may not be amazing, but he can still make a good film. This is just a simple film about love and comic books. What else do you need? <laughs> And finally, a two and a half star review by Matt, who says, very confident that I could have gone an entire lifetime without seeing Michael Rooker's arse. Yondu got that cake though. <laughs> and now it is that time in the video where I turn it to you and ask you to leave your comments down below. Definitely let me know your thoughts on Mall Rats. Do you love this movie? Let me know why. Do you not care for this one? Also let me know why. And emoji assignment, a bunny for the Easter Bunny. Might as well, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please do not spoil anything about any other movie coming up in this franchise. I like to be surprised. And with that, thank you everyone on Patreon for the financial support. And if you're not yet subbed to the channel, click here to do so. And if you want to continue on watching something of mine, click on over here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Take care.